it's Lenny here from Lens Crafty Life and I just wanted to share with you what I made for uh, Debbie Vignola. She has a Peter Rabbit challenge going on and I know this entry is going to be a bit late so I did uh, apologize to her for that and did say well just leave me out of the draw but uh, which is already going to be I think on this Saturday and it's Wednesday now so it will never make it on time i'm really sorry debbie i was focused on other things and I haven't done much crafting lately but debbie was so sweet to say no i will uh, i will enter you anyway in the draw so really appreciate that debbie thanks so much but uh, anyway let me show you what i made for debbie and it's what i took was like it's a little box and the box was actually, I got it with some stems in quite a while back. So I still wanted to alter it because it was quite a sturdy box. So it was a red box, but I covered it with this lovely paper with all these little hearts on it. And with this trim, this very pretty light blue lace trim that I also used on the front. I just made a hanging loop and I put my little label there, made with love by Lens Crafty Life but i wanted to make like a wall hanging but it's a special kind of wall hanging which i will show you at the end what you can do with this because it's not just a wall hanging because what i did is i first covered this the back the little box with a pretty paper then i put all these dangle trims dangle trims and there's different kind of dangle trims here now let me show you see if I can start at the back this one if I'm correct let me just get my little piece of paper because I did write down the names from whom I got the things I had them in little I have them in little bags so I know who to remember or to thank this lace uh, yeah 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 this lace I got from Beata from Strand Nixie one which is very pretty and then there's this other lace like or trim I should say dangle trim with the leaves on here and of course it goes all the way to here I got that from Deb Hendrik which is also very pretty and over the top of that I got another lace from Beata which is this one which is also very pretty really like that it's very delicate and then here over the top oh, let me get some fluffies out of the way here over the top I have this flower which also has some of these dangly bits on the flower itself which is very nice and I got this flower again from Deb Hendrik now I did add a crochet flower in the middle and the pearl there I had the crochet flower and these crochet flowers in my stash. Then I had this kind of leaf again. There's some of these dangles attached to this leaf applique. I had that in my stash, so I attached that as well. But what I first did is I, well, I first put the dangles kind of in the box so you don't see them beneath here. They are glued into the box. Then I took some wadding. So this is actually padded which kind of gives away what you can do with this. Uh, so there's some wadding behind the blue and white material and over the top is some lace, some white lace, which you can just about see. And the white lace I got from a Wendy Jonser, which is a, a crafty Dutch lady. She's more into cards and paper making, but um, she doesn't have an up and running channel uh, yet, but she did give me this for one of my own challenges so thanks to all these ladies for all the pretty items then I went around oh before I put those three layers in so the wadding the fabric and the lace before that I went around with this eyelet trim that I had in my stash and also with this light blue lace which is the same as the hanging loop went all the way around with that then I put in the trims this uh, pearl trim which I got from Colette from Country Creations so I use that all the way around and a bit on the top of this leaf applique here and I also put on this little bow that I had in my stash oh yeah and 
around the picture. The picture I printed onto, um, um, well, not straight onto fabric. It's it's this transfer paper. I don't have the the fabric here. Uh, I can't find it here anywhere in the Netherlands. The fabric that you can print on straight away, which I'd like to get someday. But anyway, so I printed this on a transfer paper, then transferred it to some cotton fabric. So it is a fabric and I think that's just a really, really cute image of Peter Rabbit and his mummy. And I put this little trim of these tiny little flowers around it, which I thought went really well. And I know Debbie likes small trims and anything small and cute which she I agree on <laughs> very cute and just a little pearlescent flat back heart so that's it for this make but then since this is padded you may guess what you can do with this you can put some stick pins in there so I made these stick pins to go with it so this is one this is a large one and there's like this acrylic flower on the top which I picked up a whole bunch of those in a charity shop so I use them quite a bit for stick pins whenever I make one because I think they look gorgeous and then I put um, some a bead cap and a pearl and another bead cap and this is a glass bead the blue glass bead and a rondelle and then another glass bead and this is actually a back of an earring which needs to come off because I just use that when I glue it all together it's a bit sturdy forgot to take those off so that looks better so I just use the back of earrings to keep it in place while it's drying and there's another bead cap there so there you go that is one then I made another one and again this is a different back of an earring there you go this is a smaller one with a little heart, a different kind of bead spacer there, which I got from um, a broken bracelet that I got in a charity shop when I still work there, I don't work there anymore. This little flower bead is from that same bracelet, but since it's the theme is blue, I got this very pretty variegated glass bead there. So the blue is like different dark blue, light blue, which I, I really like that bead. And then again, a glass bead at the bottom. So that's another one. Let's put that one there. And then last one, again, without the impact of the earring, is this one. It's even smaller. This one is really tiny. It's a tiny little... A stick pin with this pearl bead on top and I put a small rondelle there and then again this bead was from a, um, a bracelet that I bought in a charity shop and it had all these pretty beads on there so never wore it I just bought it for the beads I really like those beads they're very pretty very pretty flowers on there and then again a glass bead at the bottom so that's a small very small one so the small ones you can even stick in there if you want you could even go through the image but then of course I think you will ruin the image so wouldn't do that but you can hang this on your wall and keep some of your stick pins in there so it's actually a wall hanging pin cushion so there you go okay that's it for you Debbie I'll send it off tomorrow and uh, thank you so much that you're so sweet that you still want to enter me in the draw and um, well we'll see probably on Saturday who's gonna win and which is really exciting she gets loads and loads of beautiful entries please check out her channel Debbie is a lovely lady if you don't know her yet so please check her out she makes lots of nice things and check out this challenge and see all the beautiful entries that everybody's sending her so thanks for watching and uh, god bless you and i'll see you next time bye bye